graphic extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you, you can use custom shapes with the new flame feature that comes with Photoshop CC 2014.2, October 2014 release. Now, first thing to do is actually use custom shape. So, custom shape and shape option. And I'm just going to use one of these ones. Now, you can, of course, use any custom shape. So, this one's a, a bauble design from Graphic Extras on my site. So, uh, there's the actual shape. It's been applied as a path. You can see over here, path there. Now, if you go over here, background, and just run that, you can just go to render and flame. And it will come up with an error. Because the key thing is not to do it that way. There is actually a quick work around this. Just go to up here and add save path. So you've got this part here, but what you want to do is make it a copy there and then go to the background, right? And then you can go over to filter and it's the same with the tree as well, tree one as well. So render flame. Now it will not come up with that error message. That's the key thing. It will come up with a dialogue instead, which is much more useful. Now one of the nicest ones, I think, is this lovely candlelight. Really, and of course with Christmas designs, candlelight is probably the best one. I mean, some of the flames ones, obviously you just very dramatic if you want to create a flame design, a sort of burning building or, or whatever. You can actually, but this does actually give you just a nice, nice glowy sort of design. And, Reworks really even better actually in many ways if you actually apply it on a, a layer. So you can actually go over, uh, before you do this, you can actually go to layer, new layer, and create a new layer. And you can modify obviously different settings. There's more violent, and then they each, you know, have their uh, obviously not much difference to be honest. And of course, you can modify the arrangement, you can randomize it again. Very, very, very subtle. You can see a subtle change there. You can change the width, turbulence. I'm just going to change that. The opacity, if you put that up a bit too high, it ends up in... I think opacity works nicest when it's about quite low, 20, 13. So, right, you've got that. So you can also make it more jagged. You see more jags out there. Okay. And there's, like I say, there's other settings as well and flame types. And you can also modify the custom colour. So maybe if you want a Christmassy sort of thing, you might want it make it red or green. Up to you. Right. I'm just going to go for that default flame and just modify it just slightly turbulence and jag and change it back to normal. I don't like the flat one. The flat one doesn't seem to be such a great uh, flame design, but uh, click OK. And there you've got the flame. You can see you can see how it's actually crazy. You've got these sort of like little dabs as it goes around. So some some work better. You can get a nice smooth. And of course, if you apply it on a layer, and of course it's on a background layer, you can actually just, of course, go and buy, say, a blur. And you can always apply the effect over and over again. You don't have to just apply it once. So you've actually got the flame. And you can modify the flame to make it sort of nice glow as well. So it's, uh, it doesn't have to sort of remain just as a flame. It can be used as a of course as a as a layer. You can uh, then multiply that layer, create multiple flames, and so on and so on. Infinite possibilities. Great tool, and find it in Photoshop CC two thousand fourteen point two. I found this.